almost no line. Gas tank is almost full. Do I want this campsite? <laughs> I hate peeling garlic. <sighs> Hello everyone and welcome. Good to have you here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the food storage that I have, uh, what I keep in the fridge, and what do I typically shop for. So uh, let's get going. All right, y'all, today we're gonna do a grocery haul. I already have a few things already in the van, so we're just gonna get a few more things and um, then we'll show you my fridge and show you the pantries and what I actually have uh, in the van. All righty, I finished my grocery haul and now um, going back to the van. I usually shop at uh, three different stores uh, unless like I really need something and I'm uh, not near one. One of them is Grocery Outlet, which you just saw. Uh, the second one is Aldi. And the third one is Trader Joe's, which I usually don't go to either because there's always lines. <laughs> you know, COVID. We're at the gas station today. Um, almost no line it's crazy because it's the middle of the week or maybe it's because I'm too early uh, it's only 8.20 right now I am at Costco that's because this baby uh, she's uh, really thirsty so <laughs> I only put gas at Costco uh, it tends to be a little bit cheaper um, I never let my uh, gas tank go to empty, but um, it has a lot of gallons. It's like 35 gallon gas tank, so yeah. Gas tank is almost full. Um, the problem with the Ford Econolines uh, is that sometimes the like the pump prematurely stops and it stopped too many times and I got annoying that's why it's not crazy full um, but yeah it, some some pumps do it some pumps don't do it but nevertheless we have gas we're ready to go on an adventure today I took a back road through the hillside to the mountain to the peak I looked around and saw exactly what I... Do I want this campsite? I think I'm gonna go to the next one because uh, there's more shade. For now. Today's view from the kitchen because I'm gonna go into <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go into what I have in the whole kitchen and the pantries and uh, the fridge all right so this is my trusted fridge I think it's uh, maybe 60 quarts maybe 64 quarts it's pretty big um, it's a costway um, I'll, I'll put the link in the description below if you're interested uh, it's I'm not sure how much it costs now but it was actually a pretty decent price fridge uh, considering that some of the other competitors are like double the price I've had it for two years now and it's been running pretty well uh, no complaints all right let's get into what's actually in here So I have um, a few compartments, the basket has a divider, uh, first one is usually refreshments and I keep it stocked <laughs> as you can see. 
uh, and then in the second compartment I have like hummus and pre cooked meals i'm thinking about making a video of what i eat in a day because uh, i seem to always be cooking in my videos so i might as well uh make a video about that keep your eye open for the future videos and uh spicy sauce i bought this at a local market i usually try to go to local markets and see if i can find some funky stuff and this is a pretty nice sauce it's got um some uh smokiness to it it's hot enough it's a local market so I'm not sure if you can actually find something like this anywhere in the stores you have to go to the market I have my trusty and delicious mustard uh, that I love and uh, my eggs let me just take those out really quickly to show you hummus love the hummus I have two hummus and some more refreshments Okay, and these are the pre-cooked meals that I was talking about. So I have these casseroles, and they're great because they fit really nice in the fridge compartment. And basically, let's see if we can take this out. Well, I can't take out the eggs. They're in there, they're in there. And then further, uh, down in the last compartment there's a fruit and vegetable um, compartment so I keep uh, I just bought these I uh, keep mushrooms I usually have I don't buy more than one of these uh, bell peppers if I do buy more I buy the the bag with the smaller ones I just try not to get uh, stuff that's packaged in bags basically and here I have a bag <laughs> with uh, lettuce at the moment I have Brussels sprouts, more Brussels sprouts, these are cut, these are not cut. Um, let's find out here. Uh, onion, cut onion, I usually have that uh, a container for onions, I have a container for avocado and a container for lemons. A few avocados, speaking of, uh, some celery here. Uh, and this is a pre-peeled garlic. I actually pre-peeled it myself, so it's uh, not bought that way. There we go. Let's put these back. Okay, so that concludes what I have in the fridge at the moment. Um, it's usually not the same greens. Uh, I do have eggs most of the time and I do have uh, avocados most of the time. But a lot of the times I'll change. Uh, I don't typically actually have Brussels sprouts. I usually uh, carry broccoli and uh, I don't usually typically have uh, celery but um, they were on sale and I like to change them up a little bit to be honest sometimes I'll get a cucumber and uh, if you're wondering why broccoli and why um, celery well they're very filling they're very nutritious and I usually can use them to scoop my hummus with so <laughs> I don't use bread um, that's a video for another time though what I eat and all that stuff but that's what I have in the fridge. Now let's uh, go back to other places <laughs> that I keep my food. Okay, this is another uh, food compartment that I have. Um, I'm just gonna move my leg so you can see. Uh, what I keep here usually is um, fruits and my corn tortillas uh, because I do make tacos all the time and um, they never miss in the van sometimes I'll uh, keep some uh, onions and uh, garlic 
Lately, I just started pre-peeling my garlic and just put it straight in the fridge because uh, it's much easier to use. And uh, I use it more if I actually pre-peel it. <laughs> I hate peeling garlic. Moving on, uh, we have uh, a lemon. I have a few apples. Um, some mandarins or oranges usually. And sometimes I'll have bananas, not all the time. Uh, they have a little bit too much sugar for my taste, but once in a while I'll grab bananas as well because it's nice to have one on the go when you're actually uh, hiking somewhere. And this is uh, what I keep in this compartment. There's more. Let's check out the other ones. As you might have noticed, uh, I also have food storage right here. These jars are really cool. Uh, they're easy to reach. This is chorizo seasoning actually, and I don't eat meat, but uh, adding this in the mix with uh, some cauliflower and stuff like that and mushrooms. Ooh, ooh. Uh, dried uh, spicy peppers. I used to know the name of it, but I don't remember the name. This is a uh, loose leaf tea. I uh, barely drink out of that, but I do have it there. Uh, coffee, uh, oatmeal, those are uh, flax seeds, and that's the last one's empty. I also have this stuff right here. So this is my spice rack. I'm just gonna include it because, you know, it's edible, it's part of food. But anyway, this is the spice rack. I have some uh, vitamins and some more spicy sauce right here. Uh, two plates and uh, my uh, oils. One of them's olive oil infused with basil. With basil. I love basil too. It's awesome. You put that over salad. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're going to make that video about cooking in a van. And uh, this is avocado oil. Um, it's what I've done my research on and supposedly it's one of the best oils to use uh, if you're going to use oil. And that's this part of the storage in the kitchen. It's usually very nice because it's easy access and uh, coffee is a must to be easy accessed in the morning. All right, uh, let's dig into some more drawers here because I have some more food storage. Fun fact, I actually uh, keep these bags that I get uh, with pistachios and I use them as uh, trash bags. So it's the perfect size for me to throw away at any um, gas station. So it's perfect. I usually keep most of the small bags and then kind of fill them up and toss them in the trash. Next food storage is underneath the bed. And it's basically um, pistachios, which need to be very handy at night trying to snack. Almonds. and some other spices and stuff i have my uh well i had my apple cider vinegar that's a trader joe item and here uh is uh, pickle juice and here i have other things like lentil let's see some of these are empty these are dates. Um, I had them for a while, so I might have to get rid of them because I don't think I'm going to eat them. And uh, that's pretty much what I have on this one. Moving on next to this, cast iron out is uh, my dirty laundry slash. Uh, canned food so this is stuff that i really don't access very often but most of my canned food stuff is in here and i usually use it to pre-make food for tacos i also have uh these bigger containers that i can put stuff in i have more uh i have more uh oatmeal in here because, you know, when you buy those boxes, it's like huge boxes, so I have to find spaces to put the oatmeal. And uh, this is uh, something that I recently picked up, and I really like it. It's a tikka masala sauce, so 
this can also go really well with the Brussels sprouts. It can also go really well with um, cauliflower and I'll pre-make a batch and then just kind of use that for tacos. I can also use it for just to make a bowl of different food. And uh, most of the food that I buy, I can use for different dishes. Uh, I can use stuff for soups if I want. I usually make uh, Japanese curry soup. And I love that stuff, so I can use broccoli for that. I can use cauliflower. I can use pretty much any vegetable that I have handy. And that concludes the last drawer of the food items in the bag. All right, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.